Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Disney Mirrorverse, where today the brand new event is out with Woody in it. Now, I'm not going to be trying to unlock Woody today, but trust me, I do want Woody. So I believe I will be attempting to get him in the video after this. We've got a couple of events here that I've never done. The Stitches Little Glitch I have done. The 1v1 Showdown is here to stay. So if I get Woody, I plan on showcasing him with that. Um, but for now, we're just going to be playing through a Frosty Unraveling, which is an Elsa and Woody event. I suppose I could play as Elsa. Um, oh, and there's some dialogue as well, so that's going to be fun. So let's get started. Elsa, this isolated part of Mirrorforge Crater is a perfect place for you to practice your powers. Thank you, Mickey. Until I learn the extent of my abilities, the more remote, the better. Goodbye. Now to some of my magic. Hmm, that's strange. What effect is this having? My powers have created these arctic fragments. I wonder. Wait, fractured approaching. All right. So yeah, let's uh, let's play as Elsa. I don't have her too leveled up, but we're on normal, so it should be okay. And uh, so we're just gonna play through this event. I don't think I'm gonna do anything after, but I suppose we'll just see how long it takes. And then after that, I will begin working towards getting my free Woody crystals. Once I get both of those then I will be making another video attempting to unlock Woody and if I don't get him then we'll be opening up some of the fame crystals that cost orbs. Um, so hopefully I just end up getting lucky and we don't have to do that but I would not count on that either. I think Elsa might have gotten a redesign at some point. I don't know exactly where but it seems like it's a little different, and I might just be completely wrong, but I, I thought it looked a little different than I remember. But anyway, she's a... She's a nice user, of course. Here's her special as well. I should probably try to use my special if I can get a daily achievement for that. Um, and... Elsa's pretty great. I haven't played really as her at all since I unlocked her. I don't think she's all that high on the tier list, but... These arctic fragments are a result of my magic combining with the strong stellar magic here. And the fractured are very interested in them. More fractured are coming. Have no fear, Sheriff Woody is here. Mickey said y'all might need a hand. Look at him, and all of his glory here. I'm sorry for the noise in the background. Jeez. Woody, I have I would have thought Mickey would send Anna, but you're a welcome sight too. Yeah, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Anna's in the game, but it's not time for them to interact. Let's have Woody and Elsa do this. So yeah, after two weeks, the Anna event will be here too. Um, so I'll be playing through that as well. And who knows, maybe I'll unlock Elsa or Anna too. I, I really don't know. Um, I am, I ordered a bunch of the Disney Mirrorverse figures, and there are two waves of them right now. It's nine characters in total, and, oh, we get to actually fight Fractured Woody. This will be fun. Um, so there's two waves of characters. I bet the background noise is really loud, isn't it? I'm really sorry. And um, apparently there's another wave probably coming somewhat soon. And I guess I'll go more into that in the video. I really don't know how I'm going to structure it because I don't want to make the whole thing an unboxing because I know that's not too interesting to watch. Um, so I imagine I'll have to cut it up quite a bit. Yeah, I don't know. I want to make it interesting to watch. And I want it to be more focused on the figures rather than me unboxing them. Boy, these fractured sir are interested in these snow blobs. They're arctic fra fragments. A powerful, sorry, a powerful byproduct of me doing my magic here at Mirrorforge Crater. That might explain why the fractured are so hot on them. Don't worry, as long as I'm around. Yeah, the fracture got the jump on me. Don't worry, would you help me? Now I'll return the favor. Now, when I'm speaking as Woody, you have to imagine I am uh, Tom Hanks. Although, I suppose the live-action reboot of him wouldn't actually be Tom Hanks, I guess. 
I don't know what celebrity voice actor they would choose, but um, so yeah, I'm really excited to to sh uh, unbox those Mirrorverse figures. They cost over hundred dollars. I think I'm just gonna make it my seven thousand subscriber special, even though I'm probably not gonna release it at that time. But I don't have any other ideas for my seven thousand subscribers thing. So I think I'm going to do that. And they're also a fractured version of Sully and Jack Sparrow, but I'm fairly confident that they are just the same model, but with uh, purple paint. So I don't think I'm going to be ever buying those, which is very unlike me when I, I'm a completionist for completion's sake. But... Um, it would, right now, they're not on sale at all, so it would be an extra $40 to my $100 uh, total, you know, as it is. So I'm not interested in spending another $40 on two figures I'm not interested in. And I kind of want to keep up with it, but I don't think I want to buy them if they're not on sale, if that makes sense. Woo, thanks Elsa. Those fractures sure had me on the ropes. Guardians are always there for each other, Sheriff. That's good, because we're headed for a showdown. These fractures keep coming, they must love ice more than I do. Maybe we'll just go, well, I kind of want to see if I can, like, if I can do these, or are these Woody specifically? If I can play the Elsa, I could do that. Yeah, so no, they're, they're Woody, so I can't. Which is unfair to Elsa, honestly. She's more of a main character than he is. To this specific story, really. This event, we're going to be through it pretty quick here, so I guess I could go into chapter 6 story. Makes sense to me. Yeah, I don't really know what the 1v1 showdown is like at all. I don't think I even processed what that meant before, but if I am going to showcase Woody with it, it would be a 1v1. Which means that I'm going to have to level him up. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to work. Unless I get him at a very high star power, then it's possible, but probably not too likely. And I don't know if I have the crystals to rank him up either. He is a melee character. Him and Ana are both melee characters. I guess I haven't had my chance to actually talk about those two designs, so I guess I could do that too. Um, as everybody has already said before me, you know, Woody's design is great. Um, it's a serious take on the sheriff idea. You know, he almost looks like, well, like, I don't know. He seems much more toned. He's very lanky in the toy version, but this is like a real life version of Woody, so. It's like an actual person with actual um, proportions, which is somewhat funny because they basically kept the face exactly the same, <laughs> but I think that's perfect. I'm glad they didn't change the face. That was one heck of a fight, but it seems like the Fractured are slowing down. That usually means something new is coming. Yes, over there, Titanborn. They must be drawn to the elemental power of the Arctic Fragments, and they're making rifts so the Fractured can vamoose. Let's unvamoose as many as we can. See, I don't get why more of these events don't have story. Like, this is not that complicated. Like, I, I would imagine someone wrote this in an afternoon, right? Although I suppose they can't, they probably have to get like the lights from somewhere to have these characters say these lines. It has to be approved in some fashion, but... Why am I not attacking? There we go. I'm guessing that is a Titanborn, because I don't really know what they're saying. I don't know if I've ever seen that specific enemy before. Does it split up into these smaller ones? Because that would make sense. Yes. Yeah. And then Anna. I, I don't know. Anna's okay. I don't know. It's just not anything special in my opinion. Because she doesn't look like the main thing that changes her outfit. Because the thing that's cool about Woody is like he's never been in a human form before, so it's kind of cool to see that aspect of him. Like, what if he was a real sheriff? That's kind of what it feels like. 
And Anna just kind of feels like they gave her a different costume. Gave her a sword to wield normally. Like she's she's trained in using a sword almost, you know? So yeah, it's... I think Woody just kind of overshadows her. And maybe she'd be a little more interesting if she was paired up with a more bland character. Um, but I also was never all that big of a fan of Anna anyways. It's cool to have Anna and Elsa now. I, I really don't know if they would add any more Frozen characters. I mean, they certainly could, but I prefer they didn't, honestly. Like, I don't think they can... Well, Olaf might be interesting, I guess. But like Kristoff and Sven, I would just find boring. No matter if they... Well, again, I don't know what they would even do. And maybe they would just make the coolest idea for them ever. I really don't know, but... In concept, I would prefer almost anybody else. So, we completed this. Oh, I, I missed the what Elsa said. Sorry, I'm used to just skipping through. Well, then let's round up a posse and ride after him. Did I hear Sheriff Woody said he needed a posse? Count me in. <laughs> I like this. I didn't expect Buzz to show up. Buzz is looking cool in that render. I don't think I've seen that. Buzz, boy, am I glad to see you, buddy. We're on the trail of some fractured. Woody and I should stay to make sure none of them return, but find Anna. She'll know what to do. Affirmative. Buzz Lightyear is on the case. So do you think the Anna event then is going to be Buzz and Anna? Because that would be really cool actually. The two duos kind of working with each other's pairing. I really like that. I didn't know that's what it was going to be. And they got to interact once here. I'm sure they'll interact at the end of Anna's too. Holy, there's a lot of uh, different things here. Okay. So I'm guessing we don't really have any if we're trying to open up some for Woody. We can look real quick, but... Well, we're about halfway there. So yeah, this is Woody's here. So yeah, in the next video I'll have 1500 to open those. But for now we're going to play a round or two of the Chapter 6 story. We're halfway through it now. Let's see. This area is deeply corrupted by fractured magic. Yes, there are quite a few fractured here, and they seem to be drawing more elementals. It looks like they're coming from the castle. Let's press on to there. I like how you guardians banter. Let me try. Stick together, guardians. There could be trouble ahead. How's that? Pretty heroic, huh? No one responded. <laughs> it's kind of messed up. Okay, so... Whoops. Let's just... Dang it, I took out my whole team somehow. <laughs> Let's do two tanks. I think we're well leveled. I didn't look at how what I recommended, but I'm pretty sure we're leveled up enough for this. I recently, I don't know why, but I was very stubborn against playing the towers on my own time. But I played the two towers that are available to me just like a day or two ago. And you get a bunch of orbs, you get talent books, which I desperately needed. Although it gives you quite a lot of the common talent books, which I thought I would need a lot of, and then once you level up the two basic ones, you don't need regular talent books at all. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I did not like that he just sent me a link to a video called Traps. <laughs> I mean, if it's allowed on YouTube, it can't be too bad. Okay, so, what else to talk about? I think the inclusion of Anna and Woody are really cool. Again, adding the second character to each of their respective duos. And I'd be, now that I get the concept of the Toy Story characters, where they're transforming the toy characters into actual real humans, I think that's a really cool idea. And I don't know if we've seen that any anything official ever. So, um, I'm all for that. I would love to see, like, Bo Peep, Jesse. Like, some of the, uh, I don't know how they would do the other characters, like Slinky or something, or, um, Ham. Because those are just, like, you can't really separate those from the toys. Like, they are toy built into them. But I suppose they could be, like, a mech or something. You know, that would be cool. We really have yet to see non humanoid like characters like Baymax's 
somewhat, uh, I don't know what the word is. Anthropomorphic, I guess? No, like that's an animal specifically, right? I don't know, but he's got more of a human stature. I'm trying to think, is there like, oh, Scar. Okay, so, but is Scar the only one? Stitch too, I guess, but he also has like two legs, two arms. He stands on his back feet. Yeah, Scar is really the only one I can think of, I, unless I'm forgetting any. That's pretty interesting. I would, I would really like to see more characters that differentiate from just human figures. Because most of the main characters, I suppose, are um, humanoid. Except for stuff in like The Lion King, right? But uh, there's certainly other series that aren't like that whatsoever, so it'd be really cool to see more of that. But I hadn't really realized that we hadn't gotten any of that kind of thing. I don't know, everything I think of, it keeps leading me back to what I've been thinking about with the figures. Because looking at them, there's only one female with Belle. I think that's a really missed opportunity, especially because there are a bunch of princesses already in the game. And like, Rapunzel is one of the first, if not the first character to unlock, right? So I feel like Rapunzel should really have been a figure right away. Woo, that was a tough spot. Glad we're through it. I have to say I'm impressed with your magical progress, Belle. That means a lot coming from some from such an accomplished enchantress as yourself, Maleficent. Wait, does being guardian mean we have to compliment each other? I don't like it. Even like Maleficent, you think, would get added. She's heavily used in like the promotion for the game. Boy Ian, the elemental energy is continuing to build in the forest edge. Yeah, Mickey, it looks pretty bad. I've never seen anything like it. I should go investigate in person, but I can't leave the cellar mirror unprotected. Oh yeah, no, that would be disastrous. Whoever you, they le sorry, whoever you leave will need to be a powerful wizard. I think I know who I'd choose. Yeah, I like how many different characters they incorporate into the story, uh, which is something the other games don't do all that well, I think. But still, there are a lot of characters they aren't incorporating at all. Um, but it's just cool to see like Ian, for example. You wouldn't typically expect him to be a main part of it. So anyways, the figures, um, really missed opportunity to not have more female characters, and there aren't any villains yet either. They, the developers did say that the next two coming are Captain Hook and Maleficent, which Captain Hook is a super strange one to me, um, but I mean it's, it's cool to get one of the newer ones, I mean, it's not that new at this point, but newer in terms of all the figures they've done so far. I think out of the figures they've done right now, the newest one is Baloo, which is pretty cool, but he does seem to have the least amount of, um, what's the word? Like his joints are very limited. He is almost static in his movements. Where a lot of the other characters, like, uh, like Jack and Buzz, have a lot of range of movement, but it makes sense for like his body type, it's kind of hard to do so. But I don't think his legs can move at all, which is kind of sad. Even a character like Judy Hopps would be cool to see. I really want to see Oogie as well, I would love to have a figure of Oogie specifically. And then like my mains like Buzz, or sorry, not Buzz, <laughs> um, like Baymax is what I meant. And Mickey came pretty quick, which is cool. I guess, actually, Mickey's the newest one. Not even uh, Captain Hook or Baloo. But they had his design down from the beginning, so... That's not completely accurate. We're doing a little poor on health here. So, I need to be a little, a little better here. I don't know, my movement seems weird, like it's not doing exactly what I want it to. I felt like that with Elsa too. Oh wait, Judy's the boss, not Baymax. I should be attacking Judy. I was thinking Baymax was the boss. He had so much health. So let's make sure to heal. Whoops. Don't completely mean to do that. See like, oh, that's why I'm rooted. I think Judy actually has that power. 
So that's why I felt like I wasn't able to move, because that's actually part of the thing. I kind of forgot that was even a thing. <laughs> so I guess at that point I should switch over to somebody else. Well, no. Oh, no, he's still rooted. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever actually been rooted as one of the heroes before. As far as I can remember, but... There we go. Uh, we're going to end it here. We've done for about 20 minutes, so... Thank you guys for watching. Uh, wish me luck with Woody, which will be coming pretty soon, too. I just wanted to get through this event so I could start getting the currency for Woody, you know? That's it. There's too much elemental energy in the forest. I need to go to do something about it. Ian Lightfoot, I'm putting you in charge of defending the Stellar Mirror. What? Me? Defend the Stellar Mirror? But that's a job for a great wizard. That's why I chose you, Ian. I know you can do it. I, I won't let you down, Mickey. Yeah, you freaking better not. You won't you won't hear the end of it. So we got a reward here. Yeah, these rewards suck. Like the towers give you like ten orbs for every like ten stars you get. It's a lot better in comparison, but okay. So yeah, look forward to that. Uh, we'll be doing honest uh, stuff too. So. A lot of stuff with Mirrorverse coming up. I hope you're excited. Thank you for watching, and I will see you then. Goodbye.